All right, well today I've got a new trap. This is an umbrella trap. This bag says it's a shingling fishing trap. Uh, collapsible, bought it for under $20 on eBay. And it is a mesh trap, so this is the first time I'm gonna try this thing out. Unraveling it, it's got a metal framework. Lots of fun ropes to mess with. And it's supposed to just fold out like an umbrella. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's we'll see if we can actually get this thing done. It's supposed to be about 30, 33 inches wide, about 20 inches tall, and have, I believe, if I read correctly, four entrances. I'm gonna try it out here in these sandstone rocks and see if we can't get a couple minnows, a couple crayfish, and who else knows what'll get into the trap. It's kind of the beauty of these things. You kind of get to find out what's in your waterways without spending a great deal of time, effort, or money. So hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Let's see here. Trap, hook. Should be a pyramid at the end, so let's see what I get. Towards the ring. Well, there are my four corners. It's showing me that I've got a couple extra loops that I didn't account for, so like that. These are just support rings to make sure that it stays all framed out like a pyramid. So far, so good. Each one's mesh, and this is to be a two to three millimeter mesh all the way around. It's completely enclosed. You have a zipper here on the very top, I presume, for putting bait in. Let's see if the zipper will work. It works. And the axis for getting the bait out looks to be this large zipper here on the corner. So, again, a little over 30 inches squared, 20 inches tall or less. And I should be able just to bait it up and set it on down there, find out what we have. So over to the side. Today I'm going to use some, uh, some dog food. Works out pretty well usually. Dried dog food, cheap dog food. They love it. Crawfish are pretty much opportunistic. And this will attract all the other kind of minnows, everything else. And sometimes, depending on what's running around down there in the water, those things that you attract will it attract larger things. So many times I've pulled these things up and found uh, water snakes and catfish and all sorts of other things here that uh, you wouldn't really expect to find or catch in a minnow or crawfish trap. So again, you, you figure things out whenever you set traps. You never quite know what you're going to pull up. It's kind of a fun thing for me. Put about two handfuls of dry dog food in that mesh sack. That should last about a day, depending on how many things you're eating on it, uh, whether your water is running or not, how much, how much, uh, how much luck you're going to have, really. And it's pretty much ready to go. Everything's opened up. Everything's good. Sometimes I'll put a few rocks in the bait bag to make sure it stays down. But this is ready to be thrown out. how lucky I am with my toss. 
and I'm just going to kind of put this out here in the middle. In the past, this little tool has been pretty successful. Sinks pretty well. Perfect. We'll check tomorrow morning, see what we've got. I've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good feeling about this one. With the two to three millimeter holes, you catch all the smallest fish. You can catch the freshwater shrimp, and there's no telling what else will find its way inside the trap. So we'll see from there.